we never thought of the term progressive or anything like that. Um, you know, we were we've been labelled since then as sort of the original prog rock band. You know, I don't I don't I don't know about that, but I do know that music was was expanding. Hearing the song yesterday for the first time to me that was the birth of so-called progressive rock because it was like it was a voice and a, and a string quartet coming from a rock from a you know just standard sort of rock band lineup. And I realized when hearing that, that something, something new was opening up. Strings had been used before. Buddy Holly, Gene Pitney and others had used uh, uh, strings in, on their songs, but nothing quite like that had been, like yesterday, had been done. It almost gave me, gave me permission to bring in the Mellotron and to bring in classical and, and, to, and when, we, when we did form uh, uh, King Crimson. And so... People said said to me, "How can you do King Crimson, and then Foreigner? How why, you know? How can you? It's so different." And um, my my reply to that is, "Well, it's to me, it's all the same to me. It's 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 music, and I just apply myself to whatever to whatever song, whatever material, whatever um, album we're making, what I'm doing in the present day." band called Honey West, which I am a member of, and I co-produced and co-wrote, uh, co-wrote a majority of the songs, and I and I produced that album. And so, I just it's I just uh, apply myself to whatever's needed at the time.